Hello and welcome to World Warrior episode 14. I am Edu, the Kimmy player, your storyteller, and this is the conclusion of our Trouble in Wales adventure, starring our new player, Habefastro, as Shiotas. Last time we saw that, to avoid further complicating his misunderstanding at the hotel, Shiotas ran with all his might into a nearby alleyway where he met a strange homeless lady with a cat, another one of his weaknesses. Long story short, he managed to lose all his money and only come out of it with a bunch of vodka bottles. After that, he made contact with his manager and later with Derek Savage, who advised him to go to the nearby abandoned airfield or George could end up like the man who was kidnapped in Las Vegas. Shiotaz also wanted advice about his newly acquired stock of liquor, but Derek left him hanging on that matter. And this is where we start this episode. So let's see how that goes. So, um, my man Derek hangs up on me, and now I tell my manager, um, what was my manager's name again? Mr. Hanabero. Mr. Mr. Hanabero, um, Derek says that we have to get to an airbase as soon as possible. An airbase? That's right. An airbase. That's most likely... Like, like military? Yes, positively, absolutely. Uh, you do know that's not what he said, right? Wait. Which part wasn't what he said? You mentioned what happened to George. He said that it seems very familiar with what happened in Las Vegas, where they took that guy yes. to an airfield and... They flew away with him, and they don't know where to. And then you mentioned that there's an airfield close by, and he said that that's probably where they're taking him. And he said, I'll meet you there. Okay, yeah. Um, it's just that Derek says that there might be... Look, the airfield's quite important to be, and Derek says we should meet up there. Derek's gonna be there? Yes, Derek's gonna be there. This is where you might get your big break. You might get to Let's it. go! And he runs off to the airfield. Yes. Mr. Habanero, perhaps yes. rather than running over to the airfield, you'd like to take this car? That's what I meant. <laughs> He's driving. And also, Mr. Habanero. Yes. You wouldn't happen to know anyone that would uh, pay good money for all of this really expensive vodka? I mean, I like some vodka. Well, you know what? How much do you want for it? Um, well, I. A lady. Uh, 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 527. What? Are you crazy? Okay, I'll be nice. Uh, 500. Are you crazy? That's how much I gave to this lady, and she just ripped me off, saying she'd help out a cat. I'll give you a hundred. A hundred. Did I mention that was my last five hundred and twenty-seven dollars? Bison okay, dollars? Okay, let me drive then. You get to the airfield, the abandoned airfield, uh, but you only get close to it because there's a guy with a gun at the entrance. He seems a bit distracted, but it's enough for your manager to decide he doesn't want to go any closer. Oh, oh, that does not look good. It's alright, it's alright, um... I think I can handle it from here. Um, pray tell, you haven't drinking all of the vodka yet, have you? I was driving. I haven't drink any vodka. Do you want to sell them to me or not? Hmm. First, may I try something before I get final on that? Fine. Do what you want. I'm just gonna wait for Derek. Okay. Very well. You wait right here. Is Mr. Habanero wearing a bow tie or a necktie of any kind? A bow tie, I like this idea. He's wearing a bow tie. May I borrow your bow tie as well? Why? Mm, because it's a part of my special. If you let me wear your bow tie, you get 10% off of the liquor if you are lucky enough for me to sell it to you. Okay. Sure. Go crazy, kid. He gives you his bow tie. Thank you. Uh, may I borrow your suit and jacket as well? 
I'm not giving you my pants. No, 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 no need for that. I don't think they would fit me anyway. Fine. He gives you the jacket, which is a bit too large for you. He's a fat, he's a chubby fella. How tall is he? Not very tall. Okay, so it's loose, but maybe a little tight in the shoulder area. Yeah, maybe. So I take the liquor and I go up to the... You said it's a guard, right? Yeah, it's not like a, an officer, not a man dressed in a uniform, just a guy with a gun. Yeah, oh, okay. With a machine gun, an AK-47. Dang, dude. So, I go to this person with an AK-47, I walk in a very thuggish yet silly looking matter. Before you get too close, he points the weapon and says, Get out of here! And then Shayota says with a fake voice, Hey, uh, well, what up, my, my man? Uh, how you doing? What can I do for you? Look, look what I got here. I got some, uh, I got some 500, 500, 500 dollars of, of liquor and, and vodka. Dollars. 500 bison dollars, even better. And it's all. Okay, let's roll manipulation plus insight. Manipulation. No, 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 no. Manipulation plus streetwise. But you don't have streetwise. So you do this, but you add a few pardons or, I don't know, some expressions that are not thuggery at all because you don't have streetwise. And they clearly see through your, dis through your disguise and shoots you. It so now roll wits. Wits, 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 wits. Three. Oh, good that roll. That is two successes. Uh, so you are able to move before the machine gun hits you, but now roll dexterity plus athletics to see if you can actually dodge the bullets. Okay. That is two successes. So yes, you. he was already pointing at you. He pulls the trigger, shoots you with a... Oh man, I don't know this word in English. A bunch of bullets when you, show, you shoot like 10 bullets straight. A um, burst. A burst of bullets. That's the word, right? Yeah, that's a that's a good word. So he shoots you with a burst of bullets and you quickly dodge out of the way. You get behind a rock. He's still shooting, not forever because he has a limited amount of bullets. He's shooting bursts of bullets uh, now hitting the rock. Just And you can... You hear Mr. Habanero's car turning on and getting away from there. And you also hear... A very loud noise which doesn't take a genius to identify as one of those small planes like a, a biplane that's the name yeah a biplane like as like a biplane being turned on yeah by the way so what what now did the liquor survive getting shot uh high or low um high it did not it broke <sighs> Five hundred dollars, literally poured away. I don't, I don't know what dollars are. Five hundred bison dollars, poured all the way. Uh, so. Okay, I guess that's your concern as you're being shot by an AK-47. So, I um, hmm. do I have any like small rocks or anything that I could sling? I mean, um, you are. Our Street Fighter, you're kind of like a superhero. You can do things like jumping at him before he shoots you and stuff like that. Oh, okay, okay. Weapons weapons are not ultimate weapons against Street Fighters. Could I use it as a, like, distraction? So he turns around for a brief moment. Okay, let's, um... Let's say this. First, let's go luck again. High or low for... Some good rocks to throw. Hi. It's hi. You do find a bunch of small pebbles that you can use to throw. And you can use to distract him. Yes. Which is going to lower the difficulty to five of whatever you want to do. Okay, so now with him distracted and I'll go for a kick to try to knock him out. Okay, so well to 
reach him with a kick. I'll say you, you're gonna use your athletics to jump from behind the rock and try to land a kick at him. So go dexterity plus athletics, difficulty five. Dexterity plus athletics. One success. Uh, so you throw a pebble, he immediately shoots at that pebble. That is just enough time for you to come from behind the rock and actually you step on the rock and you jump really high in the air and you come down with a powerful kick to his face and he is out with one kick. You uh, use a Roa perception plus alertness. Okay, perception plus alertness. Only one success. That's enough. Uh, you see that there is a uh, small biplane picking up speed. It's coming kind of in your direction. Uh, it's clearly starting to take off. I mean, it's not taking off yet, but it's picking up speed to take off. I will take the take the guard's clothing and try to disguise myself as a guard and perhaps try to he doesn't he doesn't have guard clothes he's just a guy true but i take whatever clothes he has and hopefully these clothes are enough to earn the trust of everyone and let me no 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 wait maybe does the guard have keys i mean you can search him but i can also tell you that there is nobody else in the airfield okay so i'll search him for keys uh, use uh, perception plus investigation. And that's two success. Uh, he does have keys. Keys are for a car, which you can see parked very close by. So no key, no keys to get in the gate? No, uh, that's not a problem. You can easily jump. Oh, I can easily jump. So, I... Is Derek around by any chance? Or is he getting closer? No. Well, I mean, you can't see Derek. Uh, you can see is the airplane, the, the biplane, very close by to you, and the uh, knockdown guard and his car, and you you can see your the car, your manager's car getting away. You can kind of see the, the the dust, like a trail of dust as he's leaving. Okay, so with that in mind, the trail of dust, I I'm very hastily trying to make a decision. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? Is this... So I take it this gate isn't, like, electrocuted or spiked or anything, no? No. This was an abandoned airfield. It was barely closed. Okay, so I attempt to jump over the fence. I already assumed you did that. And I try to run over to the biplane. Okay, and? And if... If and when I'm... Try to, to grab it? I try to peek inside, see what's going on. Okay, roll alertness plus investigation. No, no. Perception plus investigation. Okay, so I've got one success. You see kind of through a window, George. George? Is he... Is he okay? He does not... He does not seem to be up and, up and about. Like, is he asleep or is... You don't... You don't know. Is he scarred? You don't know. Okay, he's not up and about. I'm, I'm already giving you enough from looking at an airplane which is taking off. Okay, yeah, that's true. So, since it's... How high is this airplane again? How hard? High. Yeah, now it's a little above your head. Okay, so I... I try to kick down the wing of the plane. Try to kick down the wing? Yep, I try to kick the wing. <laughs> okay, um, let's do... Oh man, what are we gonna do? Let's do Dexterity plus Athletics. Dexterity plus Athletics. I mean, since we mentioned that this is all superhero-y and fantastic. Yeah, um, uh, yeah I'm giving you like uh, some leeway. So that's two successes. Um, so, the airplane is taking off. You climb the gate to get some extra height and you focus all your strength to give the biggest, highest jump you have ever given. 
and you aim for the wing of the airplane, but it's just not high enough. However, you are miraculously able to kind of hang to the what's the the name of the the like the wheels where you landing gear, right? Landing gear. You're kind of able to hold to the landing gear with your feet as the plane takes off. And now you're flying upside down, hanging to the landing gear with your feet. And child. That, uh, this, uh, this adventure is just fantastic. It went everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of everywhere, my man Shiotaz has like really long wavy red hair. So I'm pretty sure that him flying upside down is just getting his hair all wild all over the place. That that too, I guess. His hair is like and uh, uh, high or low. Um, high. Yeah, you can see Derek arriving in a jeep. I can see him arriving in a jeep. Yeah, and he's he's like looking at an airplane flying with a guy hanging by his feet, and you can hear it, and maybe you can't even really look at his his lips moving. But I guess you just feel that he's saying, what the... As you quickly fly by him. And I take it I'm way above the initial height it was. Oh, no, yeah, now you're flying. Okay, now I'm flying. I gotta get to Derek. But I also have to be near George. Giorgio. What should I do? What should I do? Uh... Has any bird flown by me yet? <laughs> any bird? High or low? Uh, <laughs> you know what? We're in the sky, so high. Hey, yeah, a bunch of birds. Okay, so a bunch of birds are flying. Now, how do I utilize that? Good question. I also don't know how to utilize that. Hey, by the way, I just wondered something. Do I still have my bag from when I was trying to get to the hotel with my toothbrush and my plushies? I guess you do, yeah. Do I have it right now as I'm upside down? Yeah. Huh. And I still have my cell phone, right? Yes, your new cell phone. You do. It's in your pocket. I hope it hasn't fallen out because I'm being upside down. You know, you're, you're wearing some tight pants. Kinda secure for now. Okay, secure for now. What can I do with a toothbrush, deodorant, two plushies, plus a cell phone, plus a whole flock of birds? I don't want to say that my guy can speak to birds and is trying to relay a message. Craziest adventure ever. No, you definitely can't speak to birds. Wait, my guy can speak to birds? No, you definitely cannot. <laughs> that was my next guess. Okay, so... And I don't know if I have any papers, like even a little sticky note that I could quickly write something on to give to one of the birds. What? Like a carrier pigeon. Are you crazy? That's not gonna work out. <laughs> no way. <laughs> and I can't just... I mean, Derek is gone. You're too far away now. Derek is too far... Aww. Oh, is that for me, like, taking too long? Or is our decision-making process not a Partially that, and partially because you're now trying to use a random bird as a carrion pigeon as you write a note as you hang upside down from an airplane <laughs> by your legs so that random bird delivers the message to Derek. It's just stupid. <laughs> I mean, this adventure is going everywhere and we just crossed into stupidity and I'm just trying to get things on a like a decent rail of it makes some sort of sense. So, <laughs> okay, so um, that ship has sailed. <laughs> <laughs> can I, can I text it all on this phone? Oh my god! Yeah, I guess you can text. <laughs> <laughs> I don't suppose I can like just write something like on a text on the phone to give to the bird to try the bird to give to Derek so the Derek can <laughs> give the message back to ask the, bird. the bird ask the bird to type for you about that no I mean it's where like I type a message then I give it to the bird he gives it to Derek Derek types a message 
gives it back to the bird. The bird gives it back to me, and him and I talk. Sure, you can you can try that. Okay, so I text a message saying, "Hello, Derek, what's up?" And I give it to the bird. I say, "Okay, bird, oh, hold on, bird, please appease your lord of the birds, and please." Do this poor, unfortunate soul a kind favor, and please give this cell phone with this message to that man far over there. Uh, could you get, perhaps, your flock of birds to arrange a line to pass to birds? <laughs> I'm gonna give you one chance. I'm gonna roll a D100, and if you get 100... This stupid thing works. <laughs> it does not. The bird drops the phone immediately. Oh. Wow. So either it could have formed a chain of birds to pass to the cell phone to, or he just drops the phone. He did drop the phone. It's gone. Gone forever. Yeah. Also the birds. And the birds are gone too? Yeah, you're too fast now. I'm too fast now? Yeah. Or am I too slow? No, the plane is going too fast for the birds now. Oh, ho, 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 ho. so... You remember you are in a plane, right? Yes, except I'm upside down. So, can I attempt to, like, curl up and grab the landing gear so that I'm not upside down anymore? Row and dexterity plus athletics. Okay, dexterity plus athletics. One success. You managed to do that. Okay, so I tried to climb to... There's no opening in this plane, obviously, because it's flying. And... I mean, it's a, it's a very small, simple plane. It's not like I... How durable are their windows? I guess in this plane, they're not Street Fighter resistant. Okay, so... I'm going to try to climb to one of the windows of the airplane so I can break in. Let's go to the pilot's seat. Let's try to get to the pilot's seat so I can break that window. Okay, I really hope nobody that understands physics or airplanes is right. listening to this. Right, yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah, physics, uh, that wouldn't work. Roll a, roll a punch. But thankfully we live in the Street Fighter world where people can shoot a key blast from their palms. Yeah. Roll dexterity plus punch and see if that works. Okay, dexterity plus punch. Looks like that's gonna work with two so successes. You climb through the through the pilot's window and you punch the window and no a normal person wouldn't be able to punch, but you're not a normal person. You're a street fighter and you are be able to break the window and a big hush of air and are they pressurized are they pr I mean, it's not going it's not going super super fast or as high as commercial airplanes usually do so i don't know do they i don't know it's weird all right we'll break the window you're inside the plane the pilot is like oh my god what the freaking is happening <laughs> And he leaves the controls, quickly goes to the back, grabs a parachute, and jumps. Wait, he's not going to try to put up a fight with me or nothing? Oh, he, he will not. Because I was thinking I'd have to do a split kick on him and perhaps a co-pilot. There is no co-pilot. No co-pilot? No. So this was a place with, like, only one guard, and it now has only one pilot? I'm, I guess you're wrongly supposing that this is their headquarters. Ah, yes. Which is not, and I don't know why you think that. So, I try to set the... So, uh, so the moment you break in, the pilot uh, knows that this is completely out of control. He grabs a parachute, opens the door, I guess, and jumps. Can I grab the pilot before he jumps? Uh, roll a dexterity plus grab. Okay, d wow, that's going to leave me with six. Yeah, but you, you're not rolling well today. So. True. Except for right now. Yes, you do grab him. He gets the parachute, opens the door, and then you grab him. 
And I'm like, wait, 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 good sir, good sir. <laughs> look at that, I am only transporting, man, I don't know anything. Look, look, I'm not gonna hurt you, okay? I wanna be friends with you. But it's gonna crash! Maybe it won't crash if there's a pilot there! Oh my god, I'm mounting! Uh, row, um, perception plus insight. Okay, so that's two success. Wait, you rolled... You you just roll like a bazillion dice, is that right? Yeah, I just rolled six for perception and... Yeah, he's lying. There's no mountain. He's trying to get away. Oh, so... So that's what he said, mountain. Yeah, mountain. There's no mountain! I've been over these blooming seas before! I know that there's no mountain around! Look, the plane is falling! You broke the plane! I... We have to go! I did not Please let me go! I did! I have a daughter! Please let me go! Please let me go! I beg you! I didn't break the plane! I just broke the window! Now if you please, can you return to piloting and we can all... Okay, okay, I'll return! I'll return! Thank you! I pat him on the back. All friendly like. Okay. And he jumps out of the plane. Wait! He jumps out the plane?! I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna let you roll again uh, a dexterity plus grab. Minus one. Because it's surprising. Okay. And that's no success. Ooh, that's not good. That's no success. That this time you can't grab him. He jumps off the plane. Well, he lied to me. Oh, I can't sound it all. So, I set the plane on autopilot. Yeah. Thing is, you don't have drive points. You have no idea what to do. Should have got drive. Should have gotten, right? Should have gotten drive. Should have gotten drive. Who would have ever thought that drive was essential for pushing a button? You have no idea what button to push. So the plane is falling. You have seconds to decide what to do. There's four people on the back. One of them is George. The other one is a pretty girl. The other one is a tall, strong African-American guy. And the other one is a blonde fellow with long hair. A blonde fellow with long hair, okay. I don't suppose I can just push every button in sight and hope for the better? Um, high or low? Uh, low. Seeing as how I'm at a very low point in luck. Yeah, you press a few buttons and you don't notice anything. Actually, the plane kind of rose and you almost fall out of the open door and it, your situation just got worse. So I'm gonna give you turns now. That's, that's how we're gonna do that. You have... How many turns? Five? You have five turns. You can do five things before it's too late to do anything. Okay, five things before it's too late to do anything. Um, I'm trying to awaken all of the... I don't know what state they're in. I don't know if they're asleep or dead. I try to wake them up. Uh, they are alive. And you need to roll some medicine, which you don't have. So you have no idea how to do that. Should have gotten medicine. Mm -mm. Who'd have thought that medicine was necessary to just like <laughs> slap them and say, Wake up! Wake up! If you do that, it does not work. Maybe you should do something else. Mm, too bad you don't know. I can't drive. So that was thing one. So, I can't drive and I have no medical experience. Turn two. I look for parachutes. Perception plus investigation. Perception plus... <laughs> There it is. I get one success. Wow, there's a lot of dice for one success. <laughs> you find one parachute. Okay, so how big is this parachute? What do you mean how big is this parachute? It's a parachute. I don't think they have different sizes. They don't? No, I don't think so. Cuz I think <laughs> I think I may have <laughs> so, pardon everyone for me laughing so much, but I think I've seen some parachutes where they're like really big or somewhere they're actually kind of smallish. Maybe I'm thinking of... I'm no expert, but I don't think they have different sizes. Maybe I'm just thinking of like uh, the car parachutes that they have for racing sometimes and thinking that something like that applied to Sky Falls. So, turn three. Do you think this parachute is big enough to support... How many hostages were there? There's you and four people. Do you think this parachute is strong enough to support five people? Uh, one person can wear the parachute. Now, how many can it can support? I don't know. Perhaps. Do you want to try to row for it? Uh, yeah. 
So that will be your action in the third turn. It's gonna be an intelligence plus, I guess, security, survival, survival. survival. Okay. Perception, uh, intelligence plus survival. Intelligence plus survival. Hold on, I must say a prayer. Please, dear Heavenly Father, please let this roll go well for the sake of these good people that are being held hostage. There's three successes. Uh, you are absolutely sure it can hold two people. You're not sure about three. Definitely not more than that. I don't suppose I can, like, try to hold on to these people as we're falling down? I mean, you just mentally checked that you were absolutely sure that the parachute, once open can hold two people, no problem. Maybe three, not more than that. Should have gotten drive. I should have gotten driving. Wait, I remember that a lot of times these airplanes, even biplanes, have some kind of safety tools, like flotation devices. So I. You want to search for that? Yes, I want. On turn four. Yes, I want to search for flotation devices. You don't know. There's five turns, right? Yep. Okay. Perception plus investigation. Okay, four. Investigation. Gosh. Blast it! Oh, that is a botch. That is a that is more ones than successes. So you kind of find like uh, some. Uh, it's not some. You find like two. What are those those um, vests that you use in the water? What are those called again? Um, I think it's called either a safety vest or a flotation vest. It's is it safety vest? I'm pretty sure. Really? We have a better name in Portuguese. What's that? Anyways, uh, some of it is. Uh, so you find this, but uh, you were so excited that you found it that you actually accidentally dropped them outside the, the door. Oh my gosh, Shiotas, what is wrong with you? Well, I'll tell you what's wrong. What's wrong is that this is turn five. This is the last turn for you to do something. Okay. Last turn, and are we above water by any chance? High or low? Mm, well, the sea is low, so let's go with low. You are. So then that means we could all very well survive falling down in that water. Uh, but there's always the chance that maybe the water is shark infested or anything. And I don't suppose... We can really float in a ship, and I can't drive anyway, and... Why do you want to row for your last turn? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, the, I don't suppose we could use the parachute as a flotation device of some kind. Wouldn't that be silly? And to make matters more silly, I can't... This parachute is obviously not strong enough to support a biplane, elsewise... If we wanted to up the silly factor, I could put the parachute up on top of the biplane and have the biplane be slowly yeah, landing. Just have, just have the birds fly to the, and hold the, the plane. <laughs> How strong are these birds? Uh, you don't know, they're not there. Oh, they're not there. Tell you what's almost there. The ground. The ground! <sighs> and, and how close? And are we still near the water? Yeah, you're falling on the water. Okay, so... At a, at a very high speed. Okay, so you know what? Better take my chances and land in the water than all of us crash landing on the land. So, we're all going for a swim. Okay, so everybody stays on the plane? Well, I was thinking we could all just jump out the plane and all, like, use the parachute as a, like, carriage to carry them to the land. But they're all... They're all unconscious. Yeah, I was thinking I could, that they would just... I could just, like, throw them over out of the plane into the ocean. And, and, and you? What? You're gonna throw them on the water? That's the plan? Yeah, plan to throw them into the ocean and okay. then use the parachute as a carriage for them with me pulling the carriage as I swim to land. Wait. Is anybody going to use the parachute to fall safely? That's what I'm asking. Well, I mean, chances are there 
this water is a safe enough landing. So, I'll tell you what. How about I give the parachute... You said this parachute could probably support three people? Maybe. Maybe. So, again, better than crash landing. So, I'll give the parachute to the three people that I don't know. And George and I can attempt to dive in the water. Okay. How are they going to use the parachute? They're unconscious. Simple. I'll just latch it onto them as they... I'll just latch it onto them. And pull the string while they are still inside the airplane? Yes. <laughs> you know that's not going to work. Come on. Okay. No, I... Okay, no, that's not going to work. So maybe I'll just have... I'm trying to avoid you dying in a stupid way. I mean, I'm, I have no problem killing people in games, because death must be a possibility, so you avoid that. But you're kind of <laughs> asking to die here. Okay, okay, I see how it is. Let me be clear, if you don't use the parachute, you will die. But I want to help out these people too, so... Well, you should have gotten drive. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think that there was going to be this many hostages in a plane. Should have gotten drive. Usually my manager drives me everywhere. So. Should have gotten drive. <laughs> so, what I'm thinking is perhaps maybe. <laughs> and by the way, I'm sorry to any of the audiences at home if I'm driving them crazy, if there's like a super obvious like plot to avoid any of this and I'm just not seeing it because. Of the situation I'm in in the, all right, in the so moment and all this that. This is it. Either you jump with the parachute and you leave, or you don't jump with the parachute and you're gonna have a very small chance of not dying. Okay. That's it. You have to decide now. But these. You have 10 real world seconds. Okay. Darn it. I'll take George and I'll take. Um, who are my other. Uh, I'll take George, and I'll take one of the hostages, and we'll take the parachute. The girl, the strong man, or the blonde guy? And how big is the strong man? Like T-Hawk. Ooh, T-Hawk, that's big. So, weight couldn't probably support him. And how big is the blonde guy? Like Remy. Remy, uh, how tall is Remy? I don't know, average. And how tall is the... Maybe a little, maybe a little tall, but he's skinny. And how tall is the pretty girl? Uh, like Cammy. Okay, so she's petite, so I'll take George and the pretty girl, because maybe we can all maybe we can all fit. Okay, you jump out of the airplane, holding on to George and the petite girl, and the plane falls with the other two guys. Uh turns out three people is too much for this parachute. Uh so you hit the water at a higher speed than you wished and I'm gonna say you're going to take 1d10 fall damage okay 1d10 fall damage and you don't have 10 life right you have 9 that's true you're gonna take 6 damage okay so so you hit the water way too fast not too much way too fast and you break your legs but you're alive. Okay. And as for those two guys, they're gonna take 1d100 damage. Yeah, they're dead. <laughs> they took 24 damage. They're dead? They're dead! I mean, you don't know that. You don't know that. I'm just telling. I mean, you know that, but Shiotaz doesn't know that. Sure, but they're dead! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you guys. And uh, I guess that's where we're gonna stop our adventure because it just broke your legs, so there's not much more you can do. Hey, you rescued two people about that. That's good and all, but I feel so bad. Two guys are dead. So let's give you let's give you some some well, Shiotas doesn't know that. So let's give some some points here. Um, let's see. There is a thing here, putting a Shadaloo group out of business. Again, I wouldn't really call this putting a Shadaloo group out of business. I'll give you one honor and one glory for that. Uh -huh. 
So that's uh, the game. This was a very, very crazy adventure, uh, but it was fun. Did, did you have fun? You know, I did have a lot of fun, except for the part where the two guys died. And yes, well, you, my man Shyotaz. True, Shyotaz doesn't know that, but I know that. Oh. Uh, so we'll uh, hopefully people will see more of you and Shyotaz when he comes out of recovery from breaking his legs. Yeah. And uh, I hope everyone enjoyed this crazy adventure they had. Man, I don't even remember all the craziness that this adventure had. They had a lot of things. Uh, so who are you? Where can people find you? Um, well, my channel name is Habe Fastro. That's H-A-B-E-F-A-S-T-R-O. And you can find me on my YouTube channel, Hobby Fostro. And I am Edu, aka Kemi Player. You can find me on my YouTube channel, Kemi Player. You can find me on Twitter or Facebook, Kemi Player. If you speak Portuguese, you can also find me GMing uh, Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition podcast in Portuguese called Super Duper Podcast. And well, that, actually, I have a bunch, a bunch of projects. So just just search for me, and I'll tell you all about my many, many different projects. So yes, and uh, we are World Warrior, and hopefully we will see you again next time with less deaths and crazy old ladies and vodka and you know more normal stuff. You know, I would love that very much. No, no promises though. Yeah, no promises. But I've got to say, yes, we'll thank you so much for having me. It's been such a pleasure, brother. Until next time, people. You all be good to yourselves. <laughs>